Bonjour, je m'appelle Michelle. Welcome to the Paris Motor Show. I'm Michelle Tinson, Director of Communications for Saab Cars North America. I have the pleasure of sharing with our U.S. constituents, our employees, dealers, and media, recent Saab news surrounding the Paris Motor Show. It is definitely a very exciting time for Saab. On Friday, September 24th, American Axle, AAM, announced the formation of a jointly owned company for the engineering development and marketing of innovative electric all-wheel drive systems, as well as electric and hybrid driveline systems. The new company, called EAAM Driveline Systems, will be based in Trollhaden. The joint venture will commence operations on October 1st. EAAM will develop and market an innovative electric all-wheel drive system in a full-service package. This electric all-wheel drive system can be easily integrated into existing platforms, minimizing vehicle architectural changes. Saab will become a client of EAAM Driveline Systems, purchasing components to be used in next-generation Saab vehicles from 2012. The new company will also market its expertise in advanced products to other car manufacturers on a global basis. On September 29th in Trollhattan, Sweden, Saab Automobile and BMW announced an agreement for the supply of engines to be used in next-generation Saab vehicles. Under the Purchase Supply and Development Agreement, BMW will supply Saab with four-cylinder 1.6-liter turbocharged gasoline engines from 2012. The engines will be adapted to meet Saab's specific requirements. The contract was signed on Wednesday in Trollhattan, Sweden. Participating in the signing were Saab Automobile CEO Janneke Johnson, Saab Automobile Chairman Victor Mueller, and Ian Robertson, member of the Board of Management of BMW AG, who is responsible for sales and marketing. This venture will provide Saab with an even more advanced portfolio and opportunities to expand our owner base even more. Additionally, on September 29th, our very own chairman of Saab Automobile, Victor Mueller, was honored by Automotive News of Europe as Entrepreneur of the Year. Congratulations to our tenacious leader. This honor is selected by a prestigious panel of automotive journalists for exhibiting outstanding entrepreneurial spirit by saving the Saab brand and heritage through the recent acquisition of Saab on March 1, 2010. Today, September 30th, at the Paris Motor Show, Saab announced the 9.3 e-Power Sport Combi, the first electric vehicle for Saab. Approximately 70 vehicles will participate in a test fleet in Sweden next year and even a possible appearance in the U.S. The vehicle offers a zero emissions driving range greater than an EV currently in production. Using high-density lithium-ion battery cells provided by Boston Powers of Boston, Massachusetts, the 93 e-Power has a projected driving range of 200 kilometers or 120 miles and is powered by a 184 horsepower electric motor giving 0 to 100 horsepower in just 8.5 seconds. The EV test fleet program is designed to evaluate and consider the potential for developing a high-performance Saab EV. Saab Automobile also announced three new engines for the all-new 95, doubling its powertrain menu. A low emissions 93 1.9 liter diesel, only in the European markets, delivering outstanding combined cycle fuel economy of 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers and 119 grams per kilometer of CO2 emissions. A 2.0 liter diesel with two stage turbocharging, also for European markets, and the 2.0 liter turbo biopower engine, the most sophisticated expression of Saab Biopower flex fuel technology, running on E85 fuel and or gasoline in any blends delivering peak of power of 220 horsepower on either fuel. This variant will be available in the U.S. market. In summary, as you can see, Saab is back and at the forefront of new product and technology. We are creating prestigious partnerships. We have ambitious plans that are taking shape. And in the U.S., sales for September are up. As of today, our U.S. sales are above last month and above last September. As a matter of fact, September will be the best month for the U.S. this year and could be our best month in the last year and a half. Stay tuned for more exciting Saab news along our journey and at upcoming auto shows around the world. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.